Israel, it seems, is in a vortex of never-ending elections and a whirlwind of shifting alliances. One day after Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu announced that he has failed in building a government, President Reuven Rivlin meeting today with Yair Lapid to decide whether or not he deserves a shot as well. Let's speak to Gil Hoffman, Jerusalem Post's political correspondent. Hi, Gil. Thanks for joining me. Pleasure being with you. So what do we know so far um, about what happened in that meeting today between the president and Yair Lapid? Uh, Yair Lapid told President Rivlin that he should get the next mandate to form a government, uh, that uh, he would at least have the support of the 45 members of the Knesset who supported him before. And, uh, and then uh, Rivlin apparently asked him questions about Bennett and how the agreement with him would work out. So part of that plan uh, that Lapid presented to Rivlin is to share the prime minister role with Naftali Bennett. Did Rivlin meet with Bennett as well? And what are the chances Bennett will actually wind up being prime minister according to his plan? Uh, there had been some talk that the Likud and the ultra-Orthodox parties would recommend Bennett as well. Um, time will tell. So we may actually find out this evening whether or not Rivlin will give the mandate to Yair Lapid. What are the chances we will head to a fifth election? Zero. And why do you say that? Well, either Lapid will form a government with Bennett, um, which is still the most likely scenario and has been for a long time, or there's going to be a three-week period in which anyone can form a government, in which case the 80 members of Knesset on the right would then force out Netanyahu or help him go out gracefully and enable uh, either Bennett with the support of Likud or, or the Likud would have a primary to uh, elect its crown prime minister. Uh, there's a lot that can be done during that three-week period uh, to use the current Knesset to create a stable government. Gil, you seem quite confident that we, in fact, won't be heading to a fifth election. It's not going to happen. We, the, the, the Knesset members won't let it happen after they've run four times. The people of Israel don't want it to happen. Netanyahu might want it to happen because he'd remain the prime minister in a transition government. Um, but uh, I don't know anyone else on this earth who thinks that's a good thing. And what does this all mean for Netanyahu? Uh, funny you should ask. I wrote a very long analysis called uh, Is uh, BB Gone for Good? Uh, it's on the cover of today's Jerusalem Post. And uh, the short answer is no. Uh, Netanyahu is going to be the opposition leader um, and uh, presume that this will be a short lived government and that he can then come back. As long as Netanyahu uh, is there, the Likud uh, will remain under his leadership. No one would dare challenge him. Uh, and if you look at what's happened with the Republican Party of the United States, where anyone who's challenged Donald Trump has then had to backtrack that the same would happen in Likud. Uh, there's no politician who could really force him out. His criminal cases could force him out. Um, and so that's really the only thing. He, he's 71 years old, but his father died at the age of 102, and Netanyahu might be around for another 30 years. All right, Gil Hoffman, thank you so much. We're so happy we have an expert like you to break this down for us. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.